Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube, which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. So as we decided, yes, uh, let me sum up for the recording sake. Uh, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm going to cover all of this agenda which we have, uh, which includes what is monitoring versus observability, what is, I, what is APM, why do we need it, and I'm going to cover along with it Datadog Infra, Datadog APM, Datadog Monitoring with APM, okay, and Datadog Dashboard with APM. So all these things will be aligned with APM uh, only, no any other stuff. Uh, yes, so starting time is 9.30, uh, end time will be 5.30 uh, p.m. IST. Uh, can we have a lunch time 1 to 2? Will that be okay for everyone? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, so we'll have a two uh, break actually, two short break in between. Now this break you can use for tea, coffee, restaurant, personal calls and stuff like that. Uh, this is for 15 minutes only. Okay, 15 minutes only. Now I think if I uh, put it up in a perspective, let's have one break at uh, uh, 11 a.m. Okay, for 15 minutes. And that's uh, second one. Let's have it at uh, uh, 3.30. Will that be okay for everyone? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, so this is the stuff. Now coming back to the uh, demo environment, I'll be have on AWS, uh, lab environment also I'll be having on AWS. Let me tell you here one more thing. Uh, demo will consist of 70% of the session. Yes, demo means demo and discussions will consist of 70% of the session because these are only one day sessions and we have a very limited time. Uh, so I'm so sorry, I will not be able to give you uh, more lab for it. So yes, the lab will be given 30% of the time, maybe less itself. Okay, depends on that, how much uh, the topics I'm covering. Okay, so any other questions, guys, if you have? So same lab environment uh, is in sharing or uh, different different lab environment you have created for different guys? Yeah, so I will give you uh, the your own boxes for the lab. Uh, now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I will show you the demo also, how I did that stuff. Uh, and okay. You can do that same thing. Right now, we don't have uh, too much of time to do like, multiple exercises, multiple, you know, assignment. But yeah, maybe whatever I have shown you the demo, if you can replicate, that will be sufficient for getting started. APM is a little oh. bounce course, actually. Um, to be honest, one day is very less for that. Okay. Second thing, lab environment, I think it's it will be accessible after the training as well for uh -huh. 15 days, I think. Uh, I am not sure. Uh, what I have got information so far is like lab will be available only up to the 5.30. Uh, but I will also check in the lunch hour uh, if it is a promise for 15 days. Uh, and uh, if it is, then uh, it will be accessible because I am I'm the external vendor. Uh, and uh, you, you may talk to your consult coordinators. He, they will help you in a much better way. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Okay. So, can we start now, all of you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so, guys, I'm going to skip the introduction part. Okay. Uh, the reason here is uh, like we have a limited time and same time. I want to cover a little bit of more topic for all of you. Also, I can see all of your names, so I can see, yes, Abhishek Gar, hello, Ganesh, Joyce, uh, we have uh, Narshimma, Manoj, uh, Mohish, Mohishna, uh, Ratnesh, and Sanjeev, so yep, 
and I know all of your expectations are also very clear. You want to know APM with the data dog. That's all. So I think we will get started without and skipping the introduction. Will that be okay for all of you? Oh, yes. It's okay. yeah. Fine. One more thing, guys. I would request you all to uh, to follow this uh, this uh, you know guidelines. Like whenever you have a questions, doubt, or concern, immediately share uh, with me because I'm your trainer. I only can deliver the things. So if you share tomorrow, nothing is going to happen. Trust me, because we don't have any sessions tomorrow. It's only today. So any questions, any concerns, any doubts, any clarifications, any repeat of explanations or demo, you have to express immediately over the call. Uh, yeah. So that will be uh, good. So now, guys, let's get started. So first thing, you know what we need to understand observability. That is the first important things. Now you will say, okay, what is observability? Because till today you've been hearing about the, there's a word called monitoring, but now we are talking about the observability. So what is observability? So we'll spend 10 to 15 minutes of time frame quickly to understand what is observability and then we'll get into the uh, APM part. Okay, so let's get started. And here I'm going to discuss about the introduction of monitoring and observability. So monitoring, that is something you know that I'm not going to tell you that. Okay, uh, you do monitoring once you have a, pro a product in a production and we all know that what is monitoring, what you monitor, what we monitor in a production boxes, all we all know that. Okay, so I'm not going to spend time over there. But you know what? Monitoring is dead. Yes, monitoring is dead. Nowadays, we do not talk about monitoring, then you will say what we're talking about, then how do we monitor the operations, infrastructure, production servers? How do we monitor network? How do we monitor servers? How do we monitor, how do we monitor uh, applications? So actually nowadays, actually monitoring is dead, but we use one enhanced keyword, which is called observability. So now onwards, whenever you talk about it, Let's talk about the observability. We have come not for the monitoring sessions. We have come for observability sessions. We are setting up system, applications, infrastructure, production server, observable, not monitored. So let's have a little bit of mindset accordingly. Now you'll be having a question. What is observability? So here it's very simple way. Monitoring, monitoring tells you whether a system is working. For example, if your application is not working, monitoring will tell you. If your servers are not working, monitoring will tell you. But, you know, observability let you ask why is not working, why system is not working, why application is not working, why servers are not working, why network is not working. So this is the question like why it's not working that is being covered under the observability. So, yep, observability means assembling all fragments. Please understand that here. Observability means assembling all fragments from logs, monitoring tools, and organize them in a such a way which gives you actionable knowledge of the whole environment of creating an insight. Here we are not talking about the monitoring. Here we are talking about the knowledge of whole environment and then creating insight. Insight means uh, you have to get a reports, automated reports, automated analytics. That is inside. That's knowledge. So automatically monitoring will just monitor the stuff. But observability will give you knowledge, actionable knowledge, and then in, uh, insight. Okay. So yes, once upon a, once upon a time there was a monitoring. Observability is a superset of monitoring. I repeat. Observability is a super set of monitoring. It provides not only high level overviews of the system health, which monitoring it will do that anyways, but also highly granular insight into the implicit failure modes of the system. Okay. Now, if you want to visual, visual, visualize the stuff monitoring versus observability, whereas monitoring is proactive, observability is reactive. So you see here, you set the monitoring, you get alerts and you see the overview, that's called monitoring. But in observability, you have a debugging also, profiling also, you check the analysis also, and you anticipate the future also. So this is called observability. Now, okay, 
I'll just skip some of the uh, slide because it's, it, it should not be long because it's just a one-day session. So yes, you look at this here. It's very important picture of observability. So here, observability, see here, basically, uh, if you look at the pictures here, you have uh, logs and you have uh, traces and we have uh, matrices. So basically, matrices you get it from the monitoring. Traces you get it from the APM, the one which you're talking about, logs also. So logs can be application logs, server logs, network log. Traces can be a rank, uh, any traffic which is going to you, going to your websites, applications. And matrices, it can be of the matrix of servers, applications, network, infrastructure. So yes, so here, traces means which has happened in the past. Logs which has generated in the past, so you can diagnose that. Matrices which you want to see, like a CPU, RAM is a matrices. Hard disk is a matrices, which is of the present CPU. Present RAM, not a past. Present, what is the current CPU? What is the current utilization of RAM? What is the current utilization of a hard disk? That is a present information you want to display on the dashboard. And same time, with the logs, trace, matrices, you create a signal and stats and predict the future of your environment and that's called detection. So basically, these are the things you need to set up while doing doing the observability setup in your organizations. Are you able to understand a little bit of observability? All of you? Hello? I'm audible, all of you? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So guys, now next questions you'll ask, okay, fine. In order to make the system observable, I, we don't want to set up a monitoring only. We want to set up a observability. What are the metrics you want? What are the uh, important data types you want? In simple way, we call it melt. Melt M for metrics, events for logs, uh, sorry, E for events, L for logs and T for traces. Now, today's sessions, you know what we are focusing, which, which data types we are focusing on most, all of you? In today's session, any idea? Hello? No idea. No idea. So okay. Can applications. So in today's sessions, which data types we are focusing a lot today? It is, I guess. Uh, application monitoring. Traces, last two. In today's sessions, when you talk about the APM, is equal to traces monitoring. Is that clear for all of you? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Remember. So, which data type you are focusing? Traces. Okay. So, yes, if you want to make the system observable, you have to collect the metrics like CPU, RAM. You have to collect the events which has happened in the system. You have to collect the logs, like application logs, system logs, and traces the traffic on your applications. That's called traces, traces in simple way. So these are the four data types you have to collect so your system will be observable. Okay. Now, matrices, traces, and logs, these are the three pillars of observability. You have, have to remember, whereas in today's sessions, we are discussing about the traces. Okay. I hope all of our, all of us are clear about it about this today's delivery. We are not focusing on matrices. We are not focusing on logs. We are focusing on traces. And one that's one of the pillar of the observability. But while setting up the observability, you have to you have to configure everything. You have to work for the matrices also, uh, traces also, logs also. Make sense, all of you? Yes. Yeah. So now you, you may have a question like, what is trace? What is a matrix? What is a logs? Again, it's a big topic. I assume some of you or most of you must be knowing about it. Uh, traces, which is nothing but a relationship between events. Now you will say, what is the event then? Then I will say in a simple way, you hit uh, facebook.com, which you might be doing, or maybe Instagram, or maybe some application like uh, Gmail or LinkedIn. So you make a request and that request travel through the uh, ISPs, domain name server, load balancers, application servers, database servers, database, cache, 
login session servers and many other stuff and then you get a response so basically you know all this element we have a browser we have a dns server we have isp we have a app server load balancer all these elements whatever the transactions happen that's what it is in a simple way i hope you 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 are getting my points simple relationship between the events in your system when you make a request it not is like is lying in the one server and you get a response is lying and travel throughout the network in a different different servers and then you get a response that's called traces the the measuring of the transaction time spent on each events between for your transaction for your request is called traces are you are you able to understand this can you come again yeah so i'll i'll discuss this one in a little bit later also traces matrices in a simple way cpu matrix ram matrix hard disk matrix network matrix input output matrix throughput matrix error rate matrix all these thing matrix are matrices and logs logs uh, you might have seen that application log like apache log tomcat log windows log linux log mysql log these are the log your application log is log correct tomcat log jboss log Oracle log. So all these are applications logs. Logs. So how to achieve observability? You have to monitor. You have to set up a mechanism to do the trace monitoring. You have to matrix monitoring, log monitoring, and then you have to. Then you will be able to achieve observability. I hope this is at a high level. It's clear. All of you, is that clear? Also, oh, uh, Rajesh, I have one question. Yeah. So here. observability means uh, a prediction on the basis of traces matrices and the logs no analytics that will uh, that will apply on the basis of traces matrices and logs that yes. is the observability uh, observability means entire system first you see monitoring means earlier you used to do monitoring hey monitor the server yes. up and running or not okay yes now observability means why is not up that's the question so for finding out the why part you need to look at many information you so you are find you, you are finding on the basis of trace matrix and logs correct you yes. applying the analytics you are yes. applying the analytics artificial yes. intelligence that yes. is the observability now correct means yes. i'm same i'm asking yes yes, okay. yes. thank you same yeah Okay, so yes, observability means setting up the logging, monitoring, tracing, visualization. Here, monitoring means alerting. Okay, tracing and visualization. Visualization means dash, uh, dashboard. Okay, so now I'll not go. I'll not get into the details of it. Like what are the data types and in detail, but at a high level, I'm sharing with you right now. So I hope I am assuming what is a matrix. We all we know. Uh, these are the matrix we can say typically. Uh, throughput success error performance utilization saturation error availability code changes alerts scaling events etc okay uh, these are the example of matrix like uh, you know you can see that here okay resource matrix like cpu ram and all these are the example disk memory database and also like that events we do have our in system events some of the events login log out this that and so the question is okay fine we have understood at a high level so why we are not talking about the monitoring but observability but the but the thing is you know observability is very hard setting up the observability that means setting up the traces monitoring log monitoring uh, setting up the uh, infrastructure monitoring uh, alerting dashboarding reporting analytics analyzing predicting everything is so hard nowadays why because we have lots of changes over the period of time so earlier we were running the data center or application in a home grow then legacy then cloud then we got a hybrid and now we are running the container so you can see the evolution of computing resources okay over the period of time also architecture of the software also has changed earlier we had a monolithic applications like ms office then we got a service oriented architecture like app server web server concept and now we have a microservices 
okay so if you see that earlier we were running everything in one server now we have a one microservices running at 50 servers and 50 microservices you may have for one product and each microservices services they have their own load balancer their own app server their own web server their own database and stuff like that so yes this is the kind of world we are getting into evolving the platform is evolved software architecture has evolved over the period of time and all this thing and so i have my one question rajesh yeah. i have one question here so uh, data dog uh, uh, infra mm -hmm. that is uh, working in docker containers and uh, all stuffs yeah Are so so here in simple way if i put it up any any monitoring tool for the sake of today's we are talking about data dog has to support all this cloud monitoring also hybrid monitoring also container monitoring also. So it has to that that is the monitoring i'm not asking for uh, 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 tool is monitoring to container tool is monitoring to uh, cloud i'm i'm, I'm just asking uh, data dog infra what mm -hmm. we are set, uh, setting up infra for mm -hmm. data dog Mm -hmm. that depend on microservices microservices means they are uh, uploaded in uh, into containers they uh, containers in containers i think yes yes okay so see uh, uh, probably i have not understood your question but I'll, I'll put it in my way okay first of all where do we run applications nowadays your question was container yes we run in a container now who's who's managing yes. a container Docker. Now, yes, yes, yes. How can we orchestrate the container at the production level, the large scale level? You will skew on it. So basically, here we understand in a container you have applications, you and container you get it from the Docker with the help of Docker, and Docker you run in the multiple host to create a cluster. That means at the production level, thousands of container if you want to run, then you have to have hundreds of host in which you are running the docker and then you need a kubernetes so basically docker infra can help you to monitor kubernetes docker infra can help you to monitor docker docker infra can help you to monitor the place the server where you are running a docker and kubernetes docker infra can also help you to monitor the containers and pods inside it so yes that's an infra part but today's sessions i must stick to the stuff we are focusing on APM. Why? Because our agenda is uh, is for APM. That has I have been I have received. So I don't want to deviate okay. from the different topic. But but as I promise, little bit of demo and introductions will be on intra as well. Uh, but not too much. Just little bit of it. Will that be okay? Okay. 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 Yeah. So these are the stuff. So now I hope we have understood more or less at a high level. We should set up observability we should set up observability okay all of you understood that mm, yes yes yeah now i will have one once one slide i would like to show you here and that is just now. just give me two seconds yeah so basically what i, would, I was trying to show you which the slides i could not get it uh, quickly that only one slides out of too many and that is like Datadog, you know, Datadog, you can use, Datadog, you can use for everything. Datadog, you can use for everything. So Datadog, you can use for infra monitoring matrices. Datadog, you can use for the log monitoring. Datadog, you can use for APM monitoring traces. Synthetic monitoring, security monitoring, so everything. But we do have other tools also. Some other tools uh, I must uh, tell you here because I'm not able to find that slides quickly. 
uh, that only one slides we have. So here, data dog, dog for matrix monitoring. Matrix means infra. Okay, matrices, infra. Data dog is for log. Data dog for um, APM. Data dog for synthetic. Okay, all these things. So that means data dog is not a monitoring. Data dog is not a monitoring. So what exactly this is? Data dog is a observability. Yes. So data dog is yeah. So data dog is is a is a framework for making your infrastructure infra observable. Okay, I hope all of you have got it. This spelling mistake so, here. So, so, what what is the synthetic? Synthetic, yeah. Uh, uh, synthetic and browser. Uh, see here. Aka. Trump. So synthetic means you have a. I'll I'll put it in simple way. Okay, I'll put it in simple way. Uh, there is a one server, and the server which you have applications basically. This is the applications. Mm, probably I should draw a pictures for more visualizations, but little bit. I have all these slides and all, but I don't want to go into that because it will consume a lot of time. So this is your uh, infrastructure, and this is your applications. This application is up and running. Okay, now understand that uh, synthetic monitoring, which here I am talking about, using that you can quickly check. Okay, there is a server. This server is located in Asia, and there is one server which is located in Europe, and there is a server which is located in uh, Asia, Europe, and what you say, other continents like uh, America, US. Okay, so here, see, these are the three regions, and for the example, three servers you have located in each of these regions. And from that region, this is applications which you are running somewhere. I don't know. I don't care. Also, we want to check through network whether this is accessible or not. First thing, please hear me out. I'm not going to write all these things. This server is accessible or not? If it is accessible, what is the response time? And now this accessibility will be checked through the network call. Remember, this is the client network call, not from browser. I repeat, not from the real user browser. This will be checked from the some utility like a Java utility, like a JMeter, and they will check whether this is up and running or not. Just like a check, and then whatever the response you get it, you have recorded here. Now this is a network network validations. They are not going to use the functionality of the software. I repeat, they will not tell you whether the functionality of the software is okay or not. They will tell you the only. Whether the application is up and run, endpoint is accessible or not, some of the check also you can enable like SSL check, some to, uh, string check, and all kind of things can be done. So this is called synthetic monitoring. Are you comfortable so far? Yes. Now the question is, you should also know browser akar ram because when we talk about synthetic, you have to talk about the browser monitoring. So in the browser monitoring, you know what? Browser monitoring, this, this is the whole world, and people may come from anywhere. Understand that very simple way I am telling you. This is the whole world. People may come from anywhere, and 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 may use any devices like a laptop or mobile or pad. May use any browser also like a Chrome, IE or whatever it is, Firefox, and then they may be in any locations. They may be having with any ISPs, and they will also make a request to these applications.
Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, if you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC, kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlist and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy!